What's up guys, welcome back. So today's video is gonna be on the benefits of spray out cards and why they'll be an investment for you to actually be faster and better at what you do guys. So we're gonna be shooting this job here today and I want you to uh, stay tuned for this one guys. All right, guys, we got this quarter panel and a bumper we're putting on this car, and this bumper is going to be meeting up on this side of this car. So we want to make sure that that color is right. So when you do a spray out card, it may take you a little bit of time, but it'll save you in the long run. And once you get that color dialed in, all you want to do is produce now with this color. So you'll bring it out, you'll check it, and you know you can roll. So the first time you make the card, it'll definitely take some time, and it's more of a pain, but once you have it you can use that again and again and again so do it up front and that'll save you time in the end guys so let's shoot this job here today and this is nh603p i got my card it matches and we're going to run through this three stage guys and i'll show you how i do it guys we got it all sealed up one coat of sealer I put on each job I don't put any more than one and this sealer isn't really covered in one coat it's just for a scratch and just to get me in the right shade so so on this channel guys I'm not only gonna show you guys the new guns and all that stuff but I want to show you things to get you guys faster and better and to get a better job because I'm a production painter. I paint about 30, 35, 40 cars a week, guys. So I'm making these videos in the middle of my days of spraying you know, quite a few cars. And I wanna get you guys and myself, if you guys got any tips on making me better, us all making you know, a better job and making more money, you know what I mean? So, and any of you guys at home painting cars and you're not doing it for a living, get a better finish. So. We sealed it, we're gonna base it, and I'll show you what I do with my spray out card that I already have painted to make sure that we're good. So let's go ahead and base it, guys. All right, guys, we're gonna start basing it out now, and uh, we're using a 3M gun, so that's another reason why I like these 3M guns, because it's more painting and less cleaning, guys. So I love them, they work well, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and put one coat of base and uh, see what happens. So the more documentation you have on your color, the better you're gonna be. So if you got a color that you know is an issue and you gotta spray a card, paint something else first. And in the middle of painting that job, go ahead and spray your card. Cause when you get in the booth, you wanna paint. You don't wanna be checking colors. You don't wanna be tinting colors. You wanna be rolling and you wanna get in and out of that booth as fast as you can and with as less problems. So 
Make sure you have your documentation down and we're gonna spray the, the pearl on here. And one big thing you wanna do is make sure that your card matches what you're doing. Even though this card is old and you have it dialed in, you know it, you still wanna make sure that it matches what you're putting on the car because sometimes these manufacturers of the paint will change a color and not tell you about it and you'll have a card you'll think will match and it won't match anymore. Because sometimes they have to get tints from different uh, you know, people. When they get the raw pigments, they have to go to a different uh, you know, supplier of it and sometimes that color will change. So you want to make sure that this matches what you're putting on it still even though you have this card. I've had that happen to me before and any of you guys in the business that had that happen, leave some comments down below on that uh, same thing. So let's go ahead and pearl it. When you're putting the pearl on, you want to make sure that your distance is the same as you're going to put it on this part here. Make sure your distance is the same, make sure you spray it the same. That way it matches when you put that bumper up. Don't be too close, don't be putting it on there too wet. Put it on the same way that you do on the quarter as you do on the actual bumper, guys. And uh, that'll make sure that your color matches because if you start putting it on different, putting more on or going too close, it's going to change the color on that bumper to the quarter. So just little tips I'm trying to give you guys to get through your day better and faster, guys, and get a better job. So let's put on the second coat of pearl. So now we're going to make sure that our uh, spray out card matches what we already got. And I can see there that it does. So make sure you bring your old card you got sprayed and check it on the new uh, color so that you know that you're good guys. Just don't spray it and roll with it because I've had it bite me before. So we're going to put one more coat of pearl on and then clear this one guys. So if you're getting something good out of this, give it a thumbs up. And I'm also over here, guys, doing these two jobs. So I got two bumpers in the other booth and then I'll be following up over there. So, you know, like I said, the better you get your stuff dialed in, the more you can do and the better you're gonna be at what you do, guys. So like I said, I'm just trying to get this channel so that we all can get better and uh, just be better painters, guys. So let's go ahead and mix up the clear for that other job. And in between that, I'm gonna be basing these out and clearing that, remember I told you, Stagger your booth setups, guys. So let's go ahead and clear that job over there.
Now we'll put on coat two, guys, and we'll check it out and see how it looks to the car. finished stage here with the clear on it so you guys see it matches so we're still good with this formula I know this this card is still accurate so you want to get in the booth and out of the booth guys not only for yourself but if you work at a shop or other painters it's just a courtesy to not be wasting time in the booth so that they can get in uh, I'm here by myself I have two booths so I don't have to worry about that I'm just fighting against my own self in the day guys so Make sure you document your cards. It'll get you in and out faster and it'll have more money and have a better day and a better job because you only want to have this car come in the booth one time and out and never come back. So unless it's back for another repair. So hope you guys got something out of this one guys and see you on the next one.